All right. Today we're going to talk quickly about sleeve chokes. Now we don't use sleeve chokes a lot, right? The reason is because usually when we get in a fight in the street, we don't have sleeves, right? Or we don't have geese. Sometimes we do, right? Sometimes we're going to a football game, we've got a football jersey on. Sometimes we got a hockey jersey, right? A lot of times we might have a sleeve. Now, here's the first thing sleeve choke. I got, I got uh, Andrew here, right? And the concept is this is going to come here, I'm going to grab on from the sleeve, and I'm going to create a left. Right? I'm here, right? This comes around, I come in here, and then I chuck. That was for you. So, the problem with, it, with a sleeve choke is if I come like this and I go to choke, like, this is great, but before Andrew passes out, he's going to be punching me in the face like a dog get out. So I'm not normally going to do this in this kind of position, but not everything is as it seems. So if Andrew attacks me, he's a big mean dude, right? And somehow he gets me down and I drop and I'm here, right? Now I'm in here in the back. This is an instance where we'll use a key choke. Where I'm not going to look here, I'm here, now I'll send you know, it's like you control him a little better. I get here, and now I can park. Now watch. I'm here. It doesn't take much. I control him. But more importantly, I got my legs. So with my legs, I can now park. And now I can really park. And that. Not a lot of that practical application, but a pretty cool little trick. It's called a sleep choke. 